Uh, you know, you know what I do, um, and and you know this because this is what you taught us is. I take the examination and I write out the examination of everything I've done. And I, and I, either, and then I have it written in, in, and I put a copy of it and it says either positive and, and negative, And then it has the description after it. And in my report of findings, I read that to the patient. So yeah. we're going through each and I call it by name. And then by the way, when I'm, when I'm examining them, I call it by name as I'm doing the examination in the room. Yeah. So yeah. I'm doing Kemp's exams. I'm like, this is Kemp's exam. We're looking for the disc. And they're like, oh, that's positive. That's a, that's a positive disc. We're doing back to roost. That's a positive back to roost. We're doing straight and so on. And I think that will, um, that will help her and get her for her patients to understand. But more importantly, it's going to give her confidence. Confidence is everything. Mm -hmm. And a matter of fact, I wrote about this because um, I wanted to share this with the other doctors because I reflected on last year. And I had a friend of mine in our, cause I, I do mastermind meetings with some of my good friends mm -hmm. and I had, I had them ask me and they said, well, how are you so successful at what you're doing? So I thought about that. And so what I did is I went through and I wrote some bullet points that I'm going to share here real quick. Please. And, um, and the first thing I found, I remembered, I remember when I became a full-time Christian, 2014, it was the full time I went into that one. And what it was, I was a count. It was accountability, and it's like, who are you accountable to? You know. So, for what I would ask the doctors, who are they holding themselves accountable? And I'm not talking spiritually because I am. I hold myself to God. But that being said, in business, who's who's? How are you accountable in your business? You know, we take what we earn, but when it's not going well, we got to take that too. So is there somebody there? And like, my wife is dead honest with me. Mm -hmm. and, she, and so we talk about this daily and we go through a little bit of a talk. I write some things down and, and she asks me real things and hard numbers. And even like, I know we find it silly where I have that star system when I do, uh, when I, when I close on them, but it's reinforcement. And she always asks me, did you get it? Did you not get it? And I've also noticed on the one I learned the most on the ones that I didn't get the person to do it. And I take really, really good notes on that. Matter of fact, I won't walk out of my room without writing down why they didn't do it. And so I, I just want to get it on the paper. And then later I go and, I, and, and, and when everybody leaves my office, I reflect on that. And because I'm training my mind, why didn't they do it? What didn't I say? Uh, was, was it me? Was it them? Was it both? Because I'm fine tuning my skill set because that's everything and that, that's where the power comes from meaning i learn more on the ones i don't close compared to the ones i do you know because i'm just being reinforced on the ones i do the ones i don't is and if you pay attention there's little signs and symptoms that you will learn on every single one of those and that's what makes me and i think that's why i have a higher really high closing rate and that's why because I really believe what I'm doing is the right thing. So when I'm recommending it, I don't care about the money. I don't care about all that. And I know they do, but they don't. They want to know, can you help them? And how long can it's going to take? And can you really deliver? That's what, they, that's what I found is on their mind. Once, you under, once they understand what you understand, the money is secondary. And I can't drive that point home. So again, accountability is coming, I'm coming back around to that. How do you, how do you as a doctor hold yourself accountable? And I guarantee most doctors don't, you know, it's like, and I'm brutal with myself with that to the part. I, 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 I try to get as much criticism or constructively as I can, mm -hmm. because that's how I fix myself. And I believe everything I start doing, I'm going to accomplish this. This is going to happen. And I, and I put it in myself, I put it in the universe, I put it with, you know, with God, and I just put it in the hands of it. And I don't look back on it. And I'm trying to always think positive about these things. I'm always trying to think, you know, and, and, and there's been times where I don't think I could help these people. So I go way out of my way to try to find out if I can help them in a different way, even a different doctor, even a different thing. Mm -hmm. and, and I try to do that. Um, uh, another aspect I did in my office is, which I learned from you, 
How wait, do you direct? Wait, really? I want to. I want to just quick comment on that. So the so Dr. Jim is taking notes after each report of findings. So in the report of findings training in week four, that's one of the things I I really try to hammer home. I and I and I am really clear on it. Get a journal, and after every report of findings, you should write down. Okay, this is the patient. Um, you know, brief. You know, brief clinical stuff. Right. Just just like the the condition the 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 niche etc yeah. and they move forward yes or no if you know if yes why if no why and what could i do better and so what he's what that does is it it starts to clarify things in your mind and just like dr jim is saying is like he's learning more from when they don't move forward and cuz you can you'll find yourself if if you can't help him you can't help him but if they say no because of one of the you know common objections time money spouse etc you 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 if if it's not money, right? If they just don't have the money, period, that's fine. Um, but if it's one of those other things, then then you 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 lost them somewhere, right? It could be a clarity issue, it could be a confidence issue. Um, but if you don't track it, you won't ever know. And if you won't ever know, you won't ever learn. So exactly. that's why I really hammer that. Keep a journal and and just like Dr. Jim's doing, like after every single patient that you do a report on, write write notes down. And because it and you got to do it right then, just like he said, he's not leaving the room until he writes it down, uh, because that's when it's obviously freshest in your head.